Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 68 in the FreeCAD series. Today we're going to be remodeling this mesh object. And I'm going to do this in part design. Let me show you which version I'm using. This is 0 0.19 revision 20887 released on May 2nd of 2020. We're still in the 0 0.19 development cycle. Often when we download uh, models from places like Thingiverse, we get an STL file, which you can't work directly with in FreeCAD, so we need to, if we need to make some changes to it, we need to remodel it often to get it in FreeCAD format, so then we can make the changes. So today I'm going to be showing you how to, or at least a way to remodel an object like this. <clears throat> so you can't even select an individual face, you either select the entire object or nothing. So this looks like it's really two tubes. So you've got this larger tube outside and then a smaller tube penetrating a certain distance into it. The smaller tube has a slot cut all the way through it. So let's, first thing we're going to do is we need to go to Part Workbench, select the object, and in the Part Menu, Create Points Object from Mesh. So this creates a points object, which just has a bunch of uh, part vertexes, ver part vertices in it, that we can select and use as references. Still can't select the face but we can select those points. Now let's go to for design. So I guess the first thing is to recreate this inner tube. So I want to pad this face, recreate this face with two concentric circles and pad that to this face here inside. So I'm going to create, make sure nothing is selected, create a body, select the points object, create a shape binder to that, then we'll hide the points object. Now we can create references. To these points inside of a sketch. I'm going to create. Shape binder. So I can pad to this face. So I'm going to create a shape binder. And attach it to this face. So I select three points on that face and create a shape binder. It automatically attaches it using the three points by plane mode. So now we have a shape binder to that face and we'll pad the other one to this shape binder. don't think we need a shape binder for this face here. I'm just going to select three points and create a sketch. No, it's not going to let me do that here in part design. That 
temporarily put it on the XY plane, but now I'm going to remap it to this face here by selecting those three points. Any three points. So now our sketch is mapped basically to this face, which is okay. These points are never going to change. This points object is never going to change no matter what we do. So mapping to those points is perfectly okay. And now let's create some links to external geometry. points along these, these circles here. Three each. Alright, and now with the circle tool by default, you select your center first and then an edge, a rim point. But there's also an option to use three rim points. sketch is not on these points that were mapped to it. Okay, looks like it is now. That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to pad this sketch out to this datum plane. And that's going to create that first internal tube. So this is what we have so far. That inner tube. And now we will create the outer tube. <clears throat> I think what I'll do, let's see. If I make another datum plane, I'll put it on this one. It will pad from that opposite direction. So again, three points, create the sketch, oh, I keep forgetting, uh, now we'll remap it, I'm used to doing this in part workbench where you can select those three points and 
map to those three points. So we'll pad to that datum plane, which is on this face here. And let's see. Links to external geometry. It'll appear in the wrong place because we're looking at it at an angle. But I want it at the angle because I don't want to get confused by all these other points. Alright, well, let's pad this one to that date I'm playing 01. So it's looking pretty good so far. Let's compare it to that original object. But now we just need to make the slot cut there. another sketch this time on the XY plane and map it again remap reattach select map mode one point there one point there one point there Now let's see if we can make external links. Okay, now with the with the arc, we can also make by the default center and endpoints, or we can use three endpoints, uh, three rim points. So we select the two endpoints first, and then the rim point in this mode. But first, I'm going to make two 
line segments. Uh oh. There we go. I'm gonna catch. All right, and now select the end, the other end, and another rim point. In. All right. Should be ready now to pad this, or pocket this, that is. Through all symmetric. Something's failing for some reason. Don't know why through all is failing here. Compare that to the original. the same best I can tell Set transparency fifty on that body.
looks like there's actually an inner ring here. I don't think it's relevant. I think it's just embedded inside that wall. Call is good. Let's do a check geometry. Okay, no errors. create a mesh from that body net gen verify hide the body NetGen produces a nice uniform mesh. I like that one too though. Alright, well that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Often, uh, the object that you find on Thingiverse, it's almost what you need, but not exactly. So you need to be able to remodel in FreeCAD format to be able to then go in and make some modifications. So in this case, now we could come in and we could change some of these circles if we needed them a little bigger. What I would do, let's say, uh, if I want to change this one, I would not delete these circles. What I would do instead was turn it to construction mode. And then create another uh, another circle to the appropriate size that I want.
multiple solids. All right, so there you have it. Remodeling a mesh object. There are lots of ways to do it. It's probably not the simplest, but it's a way to do it. I did not map, I did not use as many datum planes as probably most people would use, preferring instead to map the sketches directly to that uh, shape binder, points on that shape binder. But having a lot of datum planes can be confusing. For one thing, they can hide what you're trying to get to behind it or on it. In this case, this could also be done in part workbench, and we could use. We can use extrude instead of uh, pad to do these very easily. And we could use part planes, map the part plane to that points object, to three points on it, and then move the plane attachment offset back just a little bit. And that would serve the purpose of hiding all the points behind it that you're not interested in at the moment and put your sketches attached to those points instead of using part design but I like using part design because the pad feature and the loft feature if you're going to use loft you can't loft and part a face with the inner wires to another face with inner wires you have to do two two lofts and cut the inside out. It's a little more complicated. So that's why uh, I chose part design. Wasn't sure if I'd be lofting some of these or not. Alright, well that's it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.